today we're going to talk about radical reactions for the dab. Hi, right, come around. I made you a nice little notes for something you're going to need for the DAT exam. If you know what's on this page, I think you're set for the DAT for radical reactions. Know what's here, know the questions in the destroyer, and you're set to go. Now, alkanes are generally unreactive unless you have light. And if there's light, we're going to undergo what we call a radical substitution reaction. Now, fluorine is very, very reactive, and usually it results in explosive reactions. So we normally don't use much fluorine in alkane chemistry. Chlorine and bromine are the next two that we use the most common. Chlorine being the second most reactive, then bromine. Iodine is usually very, very slow, so you're not going to see too much reactions with iodine. However, the one that you have to really focus on for the data is bromine. Even though bromine is not super reactive, it's the most selective. And as you can see from this example, of all the different H's, it would preferentially remove the tertiary hydrogen. That hydrogen has a smaller bond association energy of any of the other hydrogens, and therefore the bromine will go into that position. And in the mechanism, it will generate a very stable tertiary radical. Now, there's three parts to this mechanism. So what we're going to do is focus on this above example on how this reaction occurred. We're going to have a chain initiating step. Then we're going to go through what we call the propagating steps. Then the terminating steps. Whenever we break a molecule into radicals, they undergo what we call a homolytic cleavage. And that's going to give two new radicals. Now that first step which is always a question on the dad, you want to make sure is the most endothermic of all the steps. And the energy you put in is actually equal to the energy of activation. And as you can see from this first reaction, which is the chain initiating step, we're going to use light and we're going to break this bond. Notice one electron goes here and one electron goes here. I use half arrows to show that we get two bromine radicals. That's the chain initiating step. Now we're going to do what's called the chain propagating step. The way you can recognize a propagating step is that one radical generates a new radical. So as you can see, the bromine radical takes off the H from the tertiary position and gives a new radical, so we've propagated this reaction. When the new radical forms, it's a very stable radical because it was very easy for me to remove off that H. We've generated a very stable tertiary radical. That tertiary radical now combines with more bromine, and we get a new radical again, and we get our final product. So as you can see how the electrons are moving, we capture the bromine, we get the product that we desire, and a new radical. The chain propagating step, as you can see, there's two of them in this example. All you got to do is be able to recognize which step is chain initiating. And don't forget, chain initiating is the step that's endothermic, most endothermic. Propagating steps can be endo or exothermic. I'm not going to kill you on that, but at least understand how to recognize them. And finally... Anytime radicals bump into each other, here you have two bromine radicals brom um, hitting each other. Here you have an alkyl radical with a bromine and two alkyls. Any one of those combinations results in what we call the terminating steps. So when radicals come together, that is a terminating step. So make sure you can recognize these steps. And don't forget, the terminating steps are all exothermic. And the energy of activation of the terminating steps would be approximately zero. I hope this gives you a nice understanding of what I think you need to know for the DAT exam. If you want to read a little bit more on it, I think books like Klein did a really nice job. I love the Wade. I love the Bruce book, the Carey book as well. Those four books have really done a nice job explaining radical reactions. Once you know this, make sure you go over the questions in the destroyer and you're set to go on radical reactions. All right, I hope this helps. I'll see you in study group. Bye-bye.